An edible crayon. That's absolutely delicious. Ah! Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy, Wolfie, and these are edible crayons. You don't believe me? Check it out. Edible crayons. Oh my god. <laughs> These are not the edible ones. That's not that is. Alright, speaking of edible crayons, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make not only edible crayons, but edible school supplies. So I know a lot of you guys are going back to school, okay? It's not a fun time, it sucks. To be honest, no one likes it, but you can at least spice it up a bit by making like your school supplies edible. Shout out Wendy for the idea. Link in the description, check it out. But we're gonna start with the typical glue. Everyone knows the Elmer's glue. This is not the glue that the kids in the back of the class eat. This is just the glue stick. In case you guys have never seen what glue does, pop the lid off of a glue. Why is that? Uh, what? Why is it? Why is it perfect? Yes, it but that was so what? unexpected. What? Edible glue. No. <laughs> Ah. Yes, guys, do not do that. Go to your paper, you smear it on like this. Now all you gotta do, definitely don't do what I just did at home, by the way, guys, you should never do that, is you're gonna fold the paper over, and when you press it down, voila, check it out. It's glued together. I nope. think everyone knows what glue does. Okay, so I know there's some toddlers that watch my videos, probably like two to three months, years old, probably not in school yet, they don't know what glue is. So this is for you guys, toddlers out there, slash life watch. Baby merch coming soon? Baby merch coming soon, toddler merch coming soon. Hey. Left toe merch coming soon. But there's one problem that I've always had with glue ever since I was a little Little baby Dustin, you know what that problem is. You don't know what that problem is. I don't know how I'm supposed Mom, to. Mom, you know what the problem with glue is? What? You don't know what the problem with glue is? It's sticky. Okay, to be honest, I don't know what the problem with glue is, but I know for damn sure that this is not edible enough. So we're gonna twist it up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glue's off. Actually, glue's not completely off. We'll take the rest off now. So once you fully emptied the glue stick, this is what it should look like. So now we're gonna pop this back in, twist it back in, lower it to the very bottom. Now, there is two ways to make edible school supplies. One of the ways, Starburst, okay guys? Everyone knows Starburst. Scrumptious, scrum diddly umptious. And the other way is this horrible non-flavored gelatin called agar agar. So we're gonna start with the Starburst and make a rainbow one, let's get it. So we peel a couple Starburst. Next step, push them down. I'm praying this is gonna work, guys. Push your Starburst down on the plate, make it a little bit wider than it actually is because now, when you press down the glue stick and do it very hard, Ooh. you literally cookie cutter the starburst out and it was supposed to stick. It was supposed yeah, to stick. Yeah, yeah, get a twist. You gotta just bring it out here. Come on. This is not going according to plan, guys. But now we can just shove the starburst in there. Orange is gonna be the first color. And we are gonna continue this process, making it like a rainbow color, obviously, because you want it to look nice when you're eating in front of all your classmates and they're like, why is this kid so weird when you're like, it's edible. Well, I'm working on mine though. Dustin is gonna do the agar agar. This one's way harder, that's why I'm making him do it. All you need is this agar agar powder and water. Apparently, it's like one micrometer for every like hyper gallon of water. So, wouldn't be a regular Wolfie video if I didn't go like this. Oh! Ah, what are you doing? Now that that's done, we can fill this bowl up with some water. And you're right! Put the agar agar powder in. This stuff is supposed to get super hard. And you're not supposed to use more than one bag, that's why. Why did I buy 25 bags? Nobody knows, but we're gonna use them all because I'm not wasting. Turns out we have to boil the agar agar, guys. Put it on low, high, medium, I don't even know anymore. I'm kind of panicking. It's gonna be good, guys, I promise! Oh, yeah. Holy, guys, it already looks like glue. It's the slime to glue! Please, I need everybody to go down and smash that like button right now. Otherwise, this isn't gonna work. Work, guys, so go down the like button and post notification bell are right there. Go hit them right now, okay? You didn't even give them seven seconds. No, 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 you guys get now seconds. Do it now, do it now. All right, so we finished both of the edible glue sticks. Now we're gonna compare them, see who's better, see if they both work. Assistant, please toss me the paper. I don't have an assistant because I don't have money for assistance. CPMs are bad, guys, so when you don't have an assistant, get yourself a paper. Say you're sitting in class right now, Jimmy's like, yo, Wolfie dog. Who the hell is Jimmy? <laughs> like, I don't know, that was the first thing. Okay, to restart this. Okay, you're sitting in class, Swayze so is like, yo, Wolfie, bro, toss me the glue. You're like, okay, hold up, I got you, I'm a little hungry. Pop the knob off. To the average eye, this looks like a glue stick. Oh, no. Now, bad. does it work? Da -na -na -na. Tell me, this does not look like a regular glue stick. Now, does it glue? Well, actually, first of all, is it edible? Uh -huh. It's better than actual glue. I mean, you probably couldn't tell the difference. Pure gelatin without flavoring. Always garbage. Never do it, guys. But put a little glue on there. Boom! Oh. Edible and it works. Try it out at school. You might get bullied, okay? Next up is mine. Jimmy's like, yo, dog. You're like, all right, word, bro. I got you. This oh. is the maybe glue stick of all time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Edible glue stick. <laughs> That's deadly. Does it glue, though? It doesn't glue at all. Next school supply. <laughs> Moving on from glue, we are gonna go on to tape something else that sticks things together. We got our scotch tape container right here. This is like teacher school supplies. What kid has tape in his desk? <laughs> Not gonna lie, guys, this one cost me an arm and a leg. It's got sand in it. You're like, Wolfie, how, bro? Like, how can I make edible tape? And I'm like, say no more. I lost the supply. Is that belt buckle over there? Oh, this? Yeah. Charles. <laughs> bubble tape. <laughs> so basically, guys, bubble tape. It's essentially bubble gum and the roll of a tape. Pop it open. Literally a roll of tape. We are going to 
you remove this tape. Take it out like that, push this center out where you're gonna to attempt to eat the clear tape. Do not try this at home. I can tell you, this isn't edible. You're gonna unravel the bubble tape, making sure not to break it. Now you are going to grab the bubble tape that fits perfectly around the center and you're going to start wrapping it around. The tape is fully wrapped. We're gonna shove the plastic part back in the center of it. And now, edible. Oh, bro, the color scheme on this thing is way Yo, pastel on like. whoa. Check it out. Your friend Jimmy's like, yo, what it cost me? You're like, all right, bro, break it off right there. It sticks to there. And you need to tape something together. Boom, doesn't do a thing. But it looks wavy. And if you give it to your teacher, you're getting straight A's 100%. Smash the like button. Next one is super important because say you're writing a test and like you just want food. But your teacher's not gonna let you bring in food. There's only one way to get around that hack. And that way is replace this eraser with gum. We're reusing the bubble tape for this one. No one wants to be that kid that chews on his eraser because it's kind of gross. So we pop it out like that. Take the bubble tape right here and you are going to roll it insanely tight. So what happens after you roll it is it is the perfect width to put inside of a pencil eraser area. So now we're gonna squeeze it in, take off the end because we don't need that. So this is what you should come up with, guys. We're just gonna skim off the very end. Boom. And now we have an edible pencil and eraser. So you're writing a test, you get hungry, you're like, ah, what do you have in your hand, buddy? But if you don't like gum. But if you don't like gum. Dustin just did the same thing that I did with the glue stick with Starburst. So is it edible? Even better. That, even better than gum. That should fill up no one. But moving on to even better erasers. I'm gonna let Dustin do it because he killed the last one. This simple, you get your erasers. Bam, these are the typical erasers that don't actually work that well. You want the white erasers, the real good oh, ones. Oh yeah, those ones. are the good these ones. These are the ones you cut off with ruler and throw at people when <laughs> teacher's not looking. <laughs> so we're gonna be duplicating this eraser, right? You wanna grab pink Starburst because it's a pink eraser. Pretend that doesn't say staples. Don't look at that side, look at this side. Okay. And then bam, three, two, one. <laughs> Boom! Look oh at my that. God. There you go. You think this would be an eraser, right? Like, it would erase. Bro, that's like, edible. Yeah. This is actually Starburst candy and it is absolutely edible. Nice little taste test. Here we go. Oh, actually, you know what, bro? I think it's missing something. Boom! Edible marker. Oh my. Wow. Staples logo alert and. Can it be eaten? Of course it can. It's Starburst. And you can't even taste the marker. Can this be eaten? Uh God damn, what are they making me do on these days? It can be, I can be. The next thing that I'm going to make is one of the craziest things I've ever heard of. And the only way it's possible is if you go down and smash that like button. I'm going to be making edible paper. This is regular paper, guys. Check it out, say someone's in class. How do we know it's not edible? <laughs> you believe me? I, I believe you. So here's the deal. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to guess how I am going to make edible paper. And at the end of those five seconds, if you can't guess how, you have to go down and hit the like button. So starting now, five, four, that's three, two, one, three, one. Did you guess it? Probably not. Smash the like button because you didn't guess it. I'll tell you how. You buy edible paper. It is a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. We want to make this edible paper look a little bit better. It's very thick. It smells super good. This is what they look like together. Has the paper feel. Why did I pay $30 for three pieces of paper? Okay. I'm stressed about that. You're gonna need a hole puncher and you're gonna need some licorice. So now, as you can see, we got the three holes. We are going to take out this licorice and peel off the purple. All we need is enough to make it look like a three ring binder. Double knots are always what you wanna do. And something else you always wanna do is buy the Wolfie Wraps merch, wolfywraps.com, hurry up. So the second step is done and it looks like a very expensive notebook. Now, just to make it look a little more real. Hold up. Mouth. Ah! My writing is terrible, but math, boom. Nobody would know that this is not edible until you're in class and you're just turning a page and Miss Jensen's like, Wolfie, can you please turn to page 47? Wolfie, Wolfie. Bro, I can't handle this. Just go look. <laughs> oh my God, Bro. do not suck black edible marker, guys. Do not do it at 3 a.m. As I was saying, you're sitting in class with your green marker. You're about to write a test. Holy, is it hot or is it just me? Because this new Wolfie Raps merch is just two flames for me. Hot. Damn. So yeah, you're just gonna write wolfyourapps.com and obviously you're gonna go down in the description and buy the merch from there. I will take a bite out of that. If there's anything. Partially lit. Bro, what's what? bro? Yo, yo. Three. No! Yo! I didn't write that. Check that out, bro. Yeah, the yeah. ink actually works, yeah, yeah, bro. We should put some work, camera yeah, time in right you, here. You spelt uh, sub right? What? Because just Dustin's been helping me out. You gotta give the man some love. Subscribe to his channel. Link in the description. Edible walls. Edible walls. We're doing on just Dustin's channel. I don't hear murder. Kind of tastes like fondant. It's like stale fondant. <laughs> but it's edible, technically. Next. Edible school glue. How about edible? Break your friends with putting yogurt in the school glue and pretending like it's school glue. <laughs> Clear school glue, forget about it. But I'm not glucose, which is pretty much corn syrup. Pretend like you're drinking clear glue in class where you're not because it's just corn syrup and that's what you're eating and everyone thinks you're weird and potentially might bully you for it. But at the end of the day, you're the one eating the clear school glue in class. It's edible and it's kind of lit. And when you don't have a funnel, you have to make your own DIY funnel. DIY. Scoop it all in until the <laughs> bottle is full. This could not be going any slower. No, no. No, 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 no. 
This is why we use the funnel. Literally, if you have a problem with anything, all I'm saying is this will fix it. Get a flat tire. Just funnel it up. Now, just like that, people think you're gonna use glue as glue, but you're sitting in class, chilling. Turn to your right, Jimmy's looking at you, and you're like, Jimmy! Ah! Absolutely delicious. Trying to fit in with the weird kids? <laughs> Make a little eye contact. You and Jimmy are friends. I'm trying to fit in with the hipster weird kid that only uses clear glue because white glue is too mainstream. I have no fear anymore. Glucose. Ah! And last but not least, do you want to learn how to make edible crayons? Crayons? Crayons! I have no fear. I'm going to teach you using straws, food coloring, and chocolate. First things first, you want to grab your white chocolate. We picked out the primary colors of crayons. We got orange, green, red, blue, and yellow. Two drops of red. Two shots of vodka. You wanna mix it up now? Keep comparing it to the crayon color. We need a little more red. I'd say about two drops. Now you just wanna keep mashing it in until it goes up to about a crayon length. We're gonna put this in the freezer, let it cool down, and do the rest of the colors. A few moments later. All right guys, so it's been a few minutes. Hopefully these are all frozen hard. Slowly cut open each straw. Another way to do it is just squeeze the end until it comes all the way out, just like that. So these are the colors that we are working with. All you gotta do now, sharpen out the end of the chocolate. You're going to take the paint and wrap it around your crayon and add some clear tape and voila you now have an edible crayon Comment down below if you can tell which ones are edible and which ones aren't actually it's a trick question They're all edible Oh, that would have been a bad idea. So when you're writing your notes down in class, you get hungry. That's absolutely delicious. I hope you guys learned how to make some edible school supplies. If you enjoyed the video, go down and smash that like button, Wolf Fam. Cop the new Wolfie Raps merch. Link in the description, WolfieRaps.com. Click over here and over here to watch even more banger videos right now, Wolf Fam. Click below me to turn on my post notifications so you always know when I drop a video. And I will see you guys soon with another banger video. Stay savage. Like